microwave and hit start, here's what really happens inside. Electricity flows through the circuit board and powers the heart of the microwave, the magnetron. A high current heats up a tungsten filament, acting as the negative electrode, and this heat releases electrons. We call this thermionic emission. Surrounding it is the positive electrode, shaped like copper rings with several deep cavities carved into it. A high voltage between the negative and positive electrodes creates a strong electric field that pulls electrons outward. Two powerful permanent magnets placed at the top and bottom of the copper rings. They create a strong magnetic field, perpendicular to the electric field, causing the electrons to spiral rapidly instead of flying straight. These swirling electrons now zip past these tiny metal chambers, called cavity resonators. When the electrons pass by the cavities at just the right rhythm, they transfer energy and generate electromagnetic oscillations inside, building up powerful microwave energy at 2.4 gigahertz. The filament also gets extremely hot, so any excess heat is carried away by air flowing through metal cooling fins with the airflow provided by a small fan inside the microwave. The resonator cavities are all coupled, so the electromagnetic energy from the entire system can be extracted by a metal antenna loop connected to only one of these cavities. This antenna picks up the electromagnetic microwaves and sends it through a waveguide, which is a hollow metal tunnel that directs the microwaves into the cooking chamber. Water molecules inside the pizza have a positive hydrogen end and a negative oxygen end. Microwaves cause these water molecules to rotate a million times per second as they try to align with the changing electric field, and this rapid motion creates friction, which generates heat. In just a few moments, your pizza is hot, sizzling, and ready to eat.